I've been getting so much email on these 2020 TPI bikes that I've got to do kind of a introduction or the first few minutes, first impressions on this thing. I'm Kyle Brotherson with Dirt Bike Channel. Stick around. So we've got about an hour on this uh, 2020 300XC TPI now, and it just runs really soft. Like, I'm gonna keep riding it, but it's just super soft. Um, feels like it might be kind of, I don't know, it's just softer than what I'm, what I'm used to. So yeah, there's been a lot of interest in these 2020 uh, KTM XC TPI bikes. Uh, this is the third model year of the TPI. We had the 2018s, the 2019s, and now the 2020s. And I've had eight of these bikes. I've either owned or been, or Husky loaned me one. Eight of these TPI bikes, not the 20, I haven't had eight 2020s, but I've had eight of the TPI bikes. And every single one of them has run amazing, except for one, it's the one that, it's the 2019 that I'm doing a big 100 hour uh, test on. And I've got a Get ECU on that bike now, and it's running perfectly flawless. This bike here, so I'll, I'll talk specifically about the 2020 300 XC. This is the 20, uh, or the 2000, this is the 2020 250 XC TPI right here. And I bought them both at the same time, but I've only really been riding this one. I've got five hours here on the, on the 300 XC TPI. The only thing I've done with this one is run it up and down, up and down the road. But I have ridden a 250 version. I have ridden a bike just identical to this of one of my buddies. And so I'll just kind of speak generally about my thoughts of the 2020 so far. So with this bike, I put a bunch of protective parts on it and then I've ridden it for five hours. In the first hour, uh, the bike was still, it, it just felt really timid. The first ride that I went out on it, the motor felt super, super timid. It was super smooth, super linear, but it just didn't have any bite, any hit. And I got looking at the, uh, the power valve auxiliary screw on this thing, and it was turned like two full turns in from flush. If you look at the, if you look at the auxiliary screw on this 2019 uh, 300 TPI, it is turned out flush. This was turned in a long ways. And the same thing is happening on this 250 XC over here. The auxiliary screw is turned in so far um, that it just makes the bikes kind of docile. And in 2018 and 2019, I know they didn't really want us adjusting the auxiliary screw, the power valve screw, um, but they haven't really said anything on these. And I looked through every page of the manual. I didn't see a single page in the manual where it even talks about the auxiliary screw. So I went ahead and I just turned, I turned this thing out one turn I started slow. I started with a, with like a quarter turn and then a half turn and then I went out a full turn and it woke this bike all the way back up. So this bike is now just with a couple turns or I mean one turn on that auxiliary screw. This bike this bike is now back to more of that hit that punch that I really like. Out of the box and every one of these bikes is a little different, but out of the box this felt more like you know, it wasn't ready to race. It was more like the rideability tagline from Beta. Uh, it was just really docile and really gentle. And I've got so I've had so many of these 302 strokes. I was like, this isn't the way I want it to run. I want it to kick me in the face a little bit. So I adjust that back out. And now the bike has tons of power. I've ridden it. Uh, we've been on two different rides with it, so a total of five hours. And the bike is totally phenomenal on point. As far as as far as the forks and the frame and those things, I didn't really notice anything. There was nothing, nothing really noticeable from the 2019 to the 2020, um, as far because I'm comparing them to my like my 2019 uh, 250XC, which is outside in my trailer. Not a lot of changes there. The brakes are still the same. The clutch is still the same. Um, everything is pretty much the same as far as how the bike feels and how it's balanced. Yes, it did lose the kickstart, which I hate. Uh, yes, it does have a little bit smaller fuel tank. Um, they've changed the, they've changed the pipe. The pipe though is, is pretty cool. Um, I like the way they've got the flat spot on the side of it right here. I like the way it tucks up and so far the, my little bit of testing where this is tipped over a couple of times, I do think maybe the pipe is a little bit of an improvement on this, um, more to come on that, but the pipe does seem really rigid and it does seem a little bit more resistant to getting dings and bends in it. I have, I have bent the bottom of the pipe once getting over a log. Um, but overall, um, you know, there's not a ton of changes between 19 and 20, other than the fact that it's a TPI bike. That's a huge change. But as far as chassis, suspension, brakes, clutch, they didn't really change a lot on these that I can tell. Maybe just a few window dressing things. Um, I do like the fact that on the 2020s, you now get the little, 
uh, the little rubber band thing where you can see on your fork how much suspension travel you've used so you can kind of reset those up. A lot of like aftermarket uh, suspension guys will do that for you. They did that here from the factory on the on, on the forks, the exact fork, which is just the air fork with a new name. They might have changed some of the valving in there, but I can't tell. They also did change this and make it to a 51 tooth uh, rear sprocket, which I don't think I like as much. I mean, some guys, it's cutting the difference. They used to have a 50 tooth sprocket. It's a 13 uh, tooth sprocket on the front and the XC's historically have had a 50 tooth on the back. Now they went up to a 51. So that lowers the gearing a little bit on the bike. Not sure that I'm a fan of that, but it's, a, it's an easy swap if you want to change that. Um, throttle is buttery smooth. Uh, throttle response is crisp and clean. Everyone wants to nitpick and wants to split hairs. But like I said, I've now had eight of them and only one of them didn't run perfect. And it ran nearly perfect, it just wasn't perfect. So I haven't had any major problems with the TPIs and, and this one is running crystal smooth. That one is running crystal smooth, at least just up and down the road where I've, where I've done it. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with this overall. I'm not happy with the kickstart, the gearing, I'm um, a little bit, the jury is out. I don't like how our tanks got smaller, but just the way that the bike feels out on the trail and the way it responds to me, it feels phenomenal. It feels really good um, and I've got no complaints that way. So this is just first impressions of the bike. I will have much, much more information on these over the summer as we get into it. And this bike is highly likely the bike that I will be giving away to one of you guys for Christmas. So I'll be giving this bike away in probably my 2019 250 XC um, also, so two bikes will be given will be given away for Christmas. Watch for the sweepstakes to start in October, November time frame, and uh, you'll be able to get pick up T-shirts and, and bar pads and some different things. I've got jerseys that I'm creating. Um, I've even got uh, tie downs and some some cool stuff that is in the works for later this year. So anyway, that's my first impressions of the bike. Really, really like it. Um, not a ton of changes from 2019, other than the fact that it's TPI. Um, if you can find a carburetor bike out there, go for it. If you can find a TPI bike out there, go for it. The main thing is just try to get a good deal on one of these things and they're stupid expensive. All the bikes are stupid expensive right now. So it's just one of the things that you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to deal with. I mean, I was at the dealer when I picked this up and I'm looking at the Yamaha YZ450FX and it was like two, $300 cheaper than this. So all the bikes are expensive. They're all stinking expensive. Hey, if you like these videos, please remember to use the links down in the description. Support me on Patreon if you're so inclined. Um, also, I've got links for Amazon Motorsport, Rocky Mountain ATV, um, and then those dirt bike sweepstakes. That really helps out a ton. So until next time, we'll catch you later.